Hello, I'm Aubrey Bursch with Easy School Marketing. I am so excited that Tiffany Price, head of Nova School, a private middle school in Olympia, Washington, is joining us today. Tiffany, I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a couple of years now, and I'd love for you to share with our audience a little bit more about your role and your school. Thanks, Aubrey. I'm really happy to be here as well. As Aubrey said, my name is Tiffany Price. I'm the head of school at Nova Middle School. We are a sixth through eighth independent school focusing on highly capable students in the Olympia, Washington area. The focus of our school is really to meet the needs of those gifted kids or twice exceptional students in a different Kind of environment than they'd find in the public school setting. A lot of our students come from the public school and go back to the public school. There are not a lot of independent schools here in the Olympia area, and so that's some of our challenges. Thanks so much, Tiffany. Now, as a small school, we always know that like it's really good to hear what other schools are doing. Like, What initiatives are they trying? What's been successful? I'd love for you to share a success story from Nova School. Yes. So I'm in my second year of headship here at NOVA. And one of the things that we have really done is change what our admissions events look like. So we have started to do uh, virtual uh, events where we have parents and students talk, but then our in-person events have also changed quite a bit. In the past, uh, a lot of it was very talk heavy. And then at the end, kids and their families would have a cookie and then get out of here. But we really have changed that a lot. So now we start with a very brief um, introduction in our multi-purpose room where students uh, and families get to hear a little bit more about NOVA and they get to hear not just from me, but also from parents and students. And then from there, they actually go to uh, the different classrooms and get to spend about 10 minutes in each of the classrooms doing a different activity that would be something that represents what we do at NOVA. So uh, in the science classroom, for instance, there was some heat uh, transfer experiments going on. There were math games that were happening. There was a geography activity in, in, in it as well. So really kind of changing what we're doing. Uh, the second event that we also adjusted is we always do this ice cream social at the very end of the school year for new students coming in to experience what NOVA is all about. What we found is that it was very like, here's all the information you need to know about NOVA and what's gonna happen. And then grab a popsicle on your way out the door. And I thought, this isn't really an ice cream social. What in the world? So we changed it this past year. And we actually invited families to come. We still gave a little bit of the introduction, but not as much. And then we actually played games with them. So we're a school that focuses a lot on games. We believe really strongly in building community through games and play and things like that. So we had this really fun activity that was, they were like quizzes on the teachers, like which teacher do you think, you know, did this? Or what's the name of this teacher who did that? And we gave a prize to the people who won. And there was so much laughter and so much joy in that room of people coming together. And then at the end, we invited our current families to be our ambassadors. So they were here at the end and they got to spend time eating ice cream that we had actually planned instead of just a popsicle out on our front lawn. And kids got to play on the field and play one of the PE games that are happening. And there was so much happiness from that event. And I still hear from our sixth grade families how much they loved that event and how they can't wait to come back next year and or this coming summer, I guess, and welcome the new sixth grade families as well. That's great. That's like you were putting so much excitement into that welcome and to in getting them to know your community too, as well as showcase some of the things you do as a school and that are part of your values. So congratulations on that. Now, what feedback did you receive after you implemented these two strategies? That's a great question. So the events, the preview events, we don't call them open houses anymore. We call them previews. And those events for us, you know, a lot of what we look at is the return of investment. So how many families come and then how many families uh, apply because of it? And then how many join us afterwards? And a lot of kids will come and they'll say things like, oh, I loved when we did that during that night event or that Sunday event. And so for us, that's really helpful to get the feedback. The teachers are enjoying it a lot more as well. You know, we, we require our, our teachers to come and they've always 
always had this like, eh, it's fine. Are you just going to introduce us? And when I started making them actually work during this time, uh, they actually enjoy it so much more. And I think that's a really you know, important part for us to focus on. With the ice cream social, the same thing, just so much happiness to be there and, and families who felt like they were a lot more connected to the teachers and got to know people a little bit better, as well as getting the opportunity to, to meet other families so that we can continue to build that community that's so important. Well, congratulations on your success. I really think you're making a huge difference in your headship and in your school. I'm curious, you know, you and your team have been a part of Small School Solutions and also a part of our Small School Leader Meetups monthly. How have you and your team found these groups beneficial? Oh man, so many ways, so many ways. The small school leader meetups that occur once a month, I've been going to for a couple of years now, and I'm always sad when I miss one because it's so helpful to hear from other leaders that are at small schools who have the same issues or same challenges or same successes and getting the opportunity to talk about those is really super helpful for me. And I love being part of that group. Uh, The small school solutions conference, as well as the yearly subscription has been invaluable to our team. We did join as a school a year ago. We re-upped it for the second year. And my marketing and development person in particular has found it so incredibly useful. She goes to every single meeting and or watches recordings. And she tells me, you need to go watch this recording of this too. This is so helpful for you. And it has just really changed how we've done social media, the way we communicate with families, the way we market what we're doing, even changing things like, you know, the expectation for how often teachers need to communicate with parents and how do they read and how do we make sure that they sound really friendly and it's like talking to a friend. All of that has really changed thanks to the small school solutions. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad that you're such an active member of those groups. Now, I know people might have questions about the programs and initiatives that you're driving. Where can people find more about, learn more about you and Nova School? Yeah, I think the easiest way to do it is to go to novaschool.org, which is our website. There's so much valuable information there, not just about Nova in particular, but also about middle school as well as highly capable kids and what their needs are. I am always happy to answer questions as well. Happy to get some of those emails and respond in a timely fashion. So always happy to connect with other small schools. You have been very generous with your time today, but also in all the kind of programs you participate in, you are always so generous with your resources, ideas, and sharing. So thank you so much, Tiffany, for all you do, not only for our community, but for your school. You're doing amazing things. And thanks for being a part of today. Thank you so much, Aubrey. I appreciate the opportunity.